Hello, wonderful teachers. This is Mrs. Yulaberry here. I um, have a short tutorial on something that the kids can go and visit and do when they visit the virtual my virtual innovation lab. So what I'm adding to the innovation lab is this Beebot emulator. And it basically works exactly like if you had a Beebot in person. Um, you have a variety of mats available alphabet card community dice mat number line um so basically they coin you know so i'm going to go to the alphabet mat just to start with that one and basically what they would have to do is they would use the keypad exactly like they would on the bbot so i'm clearing anything that i may have done before and so let's say for begin uh, activity i'm going to have them uh, spell out their first name. So I'm going to program the Bebot again exactly as if I was I had it in my hand. I'm going to click right and then straight to go to my first letter. I'm going to press go and it goes to my first letter. And there we go. Okay. And then you could go to the beginning again, click the home to go to the starting point again. And then, okay, I'm going to have to, um, a next. So I would go, I have to clear, always clear, um, uh, after you use the B bot and then I would go up, up, turn up, up. And remember it's not really up because it turns. So it's going straight, straight. I press go and it's going to go to the next letter in my name. And there you go. So um, that's basically what it does. So here is a little explanation on the arrows, the go, the stop, the uh, starting over, clearing, and moving the be bought back to the original position. I hope this tutorial helps and that you can, you know, use this. For example, you can use this during a Google Meet and model it and do it with the kids. And they, you know, you might want them, if it's kinder, you might want them to draw an arrow, which way are they going to go, um, and on a whiteboard and hold it up, or um, have their parents draw arrow cards, and then they will hold up the card that they go next. Um, there's lots of di different ways that you can be creative with this, but um, this will be included in my virtual innovation lab. It is on the floor, a mat on the floor, just like we used to use it. And the link, once they click on it, it'll take them here. And again, I hope that you have fun with this and your students are able to have a great time with it as well. All right. Take care, everyone.